it's day two after operation, about midday. As you can probably hear, I sound a little bit nasally. Um, I do have the slight sensation of blocked nose. However, this was actually after I applied the um, antibiotic ointment, which is very viscous. So doing that is why I sound nasally. Actually, otherwise I can breathe fine, uh, with the exception of the gauze. Uh, I've had to replace that a couple of times still. Um, the bleeding is definitely much lighter than it was yesterday, however, and I'm hoping that by tomorrow I shouldn't need that at all. Uh, the great thing was is that although yesterday I felt very well and still relaxed and I felt fine after the uh, sedation, I realised that today I am fully cognitively capable and I have all of my motor skills completely returned. Yesterday I was a tad clumsy, I was um, trying to arrange the medicines I had been provided into little ceramic pots and I noticed I dropped one, which I might have done anyway, but it kind of, that showed me that my coordination hadn't completely returned, but that was only four hours after the operation. This morning I am fine. Uh, so much so, I have returned to work, um, although I wouldn't recommend going into work at this stage. Um, since I can work from home in many cases, I have uh, been perfectly capable of performing my normally normal daily activities. The pain is non-existent. Uh, slight discomfort when I was cleaning the area this morning, but um, other than that, there's a tiny ache and it's sensitive to touch, but there's no lasting pain. I slept reasonably well. I think that the fact I had orientated myself at 30 degrees in the bed so that I wouldn't be lying completely flat was part of the reason I woke up during the night, um, but I think that was a worthy price to pay to help reduce the swelling. The other thing I would note is that since uh, I was breathing through my mouth quite heavily throughout the night, I did get a very, very dry throat very quickly throughout the night. So having plenty of water next to the bed was a huge plus because walking downstairs uh, after the medications I had taken to help me sleep um, would have been perhaps not the best idea. So that was, yeah, a, a very restful sleep. Uh, I woke up the normal time, I have no real pain. Um, there is some swelling and some bruising has started. I have very minor, although it might be difficult to see in this light, very minor bruises just under my cuticle. Although, at the moment, the appearance is very similar to if I hadn't have slept. It's just a slight dark line and nothing that's concerning me at all. I suppose I could wear makeup, but since I have no intention to leave the house and also it's um, covered in gauzes and such still anyway, it's really not a problem at all. There is some swelling. I noticed that on the bridge of my nose towards my eyes, this area here is definitely wider than normal and it's sensitive to touch, so I assume that's all part of the swelling process, um, as well as the tip of my nose, which is protruding through the bandages, is also quite swollen. That said, I'm already quite pleased with the results. It's very difficult to identify, so everything with a pinch of salt. However, when looking into the mirror, I can notice that my nose is, is somewhat smaller. Not a lot, but it is smaller, and that is very promising, given that I'm still at the early stages of swelling, and I have a lot of healing process to go through, and of course, I'm trying to measure it through what you can see is many layers of um, protection, uh, especially on the bridge here. The cleaning process is quite easy, although it does take some time and some care. If you have someone to assist you, I think that would be very helpful. Um, I apply the hydrogen peroxide solution, which I was prescribed, uh, with some Q-tips. And very gently just kind of remove the uh, debris and blood that surrounds the area. I then apply the ointment I was given, although as I said earlier, the ointment does quickly make you um, feel very congested just because of the viscosity and you can't breathe particularly well, although I can breathe okay, I'm obviously not gulping in air through my nose. Um, with regards to other side effects such as headaches and such, I've experienced absolutely none. Um, I feel perfectly capable and yeah, quite well. Eating is slightly difficult just because I am unable to chew particularly well, mostly because of the gauze I'm currently using is actually half of a um, cotton bud since I ran out and will need to make a trip to the shop later. 
And so as I move my upper lip, that causes pressure to go up against my nose, which is uncomfortable. So I'm trying to avoid chewing quite tough foods at the moment, uh, which results in a lot of soups and so on. A similar problem occurs when brushing my teeth. Um, I would strongly recommend, prior to the surgery, to buy some mouthwash and a toothbrush. Um, electric toothbrush, sorry. Since getting in there with a manual toothbrush and pushing you know, around this jaw area, which is still very sensitive, is uh, a little bit difficult. So I was fortunate enough to have one, and that made the process much, much easier. And I just tilt my head back a little bit to, to do it, but it was, wasn't too bad at all. And uh, lots of soups. Other than that, I'm so far very, very pleased with my recovery. Uh, to reiterate, I have some small swelling, a little bit of bruising, but absolutely no discomfort at all. The most discomforting factor is uh, the gauze you can see I'm wearing under my nose, which is to protect the blood from flowing down. Um, and that is really quite minimal. I hope to be done with this quite soon. Additionally, I would perhaps recommend um, removing your moustache, if you have one, prior to the uh, operation. I found that the hair follicles trap the dried blood and can make the cleaning process that little bit more difficult. Although a cotton bud and some of the hydrogen peroxide it does remove it quite easily, uh, that would have been a little bit helpful to have done that. I was uh, lazy not to. And so thank you for listening to this video. Um, they're a bit of a ramble, but I will update you again tomorrow.